So I am at 11120 Gulf Beach Highway. It's a brand new Craftsman style home. You've got a circle drive here and there is a sidewalk along Gulf Beach Highway. There's a lot of people running and walking and doing all that fun stuff. So it is landscaped. All brick with some craftsman style details. Okay, so I'm inside now. Here's the front door. So the back, the front door is behind me. You can either go into the flex room there. You've got, it's all open here. So you've got your living room, kitchen, dining area. I'm kind of just pan around one more time. Staying back in the corner here so you can kind of see it all. So that is your master over here. You've obviously got the doors outside. And then this way is to your guest bedrooms, guest bathroom, and laundry room and garage. It's a vinyl flooring here. It's got a nice big space for an office or a piano room or a playroom. There's no door on it, but you could easily put one on if you wanted to. A nice big window for some natural light. Got some nice detail here on the island. I guess it's not an island, but for your bar here. French doors leading out to the back. On your pantry. We'll go outside in a minute. So here's your master. Nice big space. The carpet's pretty cushy too. And then your side yard. Same vinyl in the bathroom. So you've got your sinks. That's the toilet. There's one closet, second closet, and then your shower. Oops, forgot to turn the lights on. There we go. So here's the first closet. Lots of storage underneath here. Your second closet. Toilet. There's granite countertops here. So again, the back door is to my right, front door is to my left. Master bedroom is behind me. So you've got first bedroom, second bedroom back there, third bedroom, um, uh, bathroom, and then laundry room. So nice big space. You would have enough space to put like a shelf or something here if you wanted to look at the garage oops it is a two car but they're separate doors so it's a little bit wider and then that one's a little bit deeper of a stall here 
so you'd have some space in the front if you wanted to. It does not have pull down stairs, but then you see there, there's a door that goes outside. dryer and stuff all right so that's into the living area we're going to go to the first guest bedroom here same carpet nice and cushy pretty good size room actually there's your closet And then we have the HVAC the carrier. We have a digital thermostat. Here's your bathroom. Nice tall counters. Lots of storage again, granite. We've got linen closet. And then two more bedrooms. So this is the back bedroom. Again, these bedrooms are really good size. And then the last bedroom. This one's probably the smallest, but it's still a really good size. And then their view out this window is just the wooded lot next door. Let's head outside. You don't have a big patio space, <laughs> but you could easily expand that if you wanted to. It is privacy fenced. Let's show you a little pan here with the backyard. It's a good size. If you wanted to put a pool in here, you could. There's plenty of space. So it's just not fenced on the front part of it. And then on this one side. I'll do one more pan here. There you go. 